I was working one the Fourth of July out here, and uh, some girls. They they convinced me to they convinced me to take my shirt off, <sighs> and my shoes, and uh, my pants. kind of embarrassing but they convinced me to uh, to be buried alive in the sand <laughs> they're college girls you know you know the type bikinis suntan lotion oiled up bodies <sighs> anyway buried up to my neck in the sand and they ran off with my clothes. Crazy girls. Yeah. Anyway. I dug my way out. Bet you're wondering how I did that. Strung my gum out as long as I could. My tongue and my teeth. It's a good thing I was chewing four pieces. <laughs> I had enough. I could move my neck just enough to lasso a stick. It's a little twig off a tree. It was about three inches away. Got it in my teeth. And I started digging. You know, I started digging like this. Took me about seven hours. Got out. All right, now see out here, what you got is a mixture of goals. And they stick together like that. You see how they're all together? They stick together and if you fuck with one of them, you're dead. Be a pretty rough neighborhood sometimes. More for all these seagulls. I might actually be able to clean this place up one day. One day. Now, I put this sign up about a year and a half ago. It's because I figured I'm the only one who uh, rides this beat. I want to make sure everybody knows the rules. I want to make sure everybody knows that if they break the rules, they're going to have to answer to me. Pretty self-explanatory here. That top left one there. It means, uh... I haven't written down at home. I forget what that one means. But, uh, anyway. The one to the right there, that's the best drawing of a dog that I could come up with. I think you could tell it's a dog though, right? Some lady thought it was a goat. Brought her dogs all over the beach, I said. Hey lady, you can't have dogs on the beach. She said, well, I didn't think you could have goats. Anyway, that one is very important because we, ni we like to keep our beaches nice and clean. It's a trash can with litter on the side. No starting fires in the sand. That bottom left hand, that, yeah, that's very important. It's one I came up with so I could get, I could get alcohol for free. I don't know drinking out here, but they come out here and they drink, and I could confiscate it, and I could drink it on duty. And that bottom right hand there is no pissing on the sand. Punks. Those punks are lucky. Actually, actually, I'm glad they rode away. 
Glad they didn't do anything because they beat me up about a month ago. Took my comb. I'm not back. Let's get out of here. I'm almost off anyway. I take my job pretty seriously. You know, I like to think that I do my part for this community and that they're happy to have me here. Bruce Lee once told me, what was that? And I said, what was what? And he said, what was that? And I said, I don't know. Life is like a grab bag on Halloween at my next door neighbor Berta's house who's 95 years old. You never know what you're gonna get, but you know it ain't gonna be good. You know something? There are only a couple of things in this life that are guaranteed. Death and taxes. And they both suck. Anyway, my shift's almost over and I can hear my bathtub, jammies, TV, and bonbons calling my name. <laughs>